Hi, my name is Jan. I'm developer relations lead at Itopia. And here I'm going to give you a quick tour of Itopia Spaces, which is a service for taking your local developer environments like this one, VS Code, running on my MacBook, and move it into a web browser, VS Code, running on Chrome. Same repo, same preferences, same extension marketplace, and also the same sorts of abilities you'd expect to have via terminal. So pseudo writes, having your CLIs installed that you need to get your work done, the ability to push up to your Git repos, all that stuff you can do from this environment. But it's not just VS Code. There's a lot of other IDEs in the world and we wanna support as many as possible. So we've got support for PyCharm, support for Eclipse, support for other JetBrains IDEs, and you can also bring your own IDE, your own tools, CLIs, languages, and create your own custom space and go from there. You can customize what's in here, also how they're presented to other people on your team so that you can make sure that everyone on your team is using the right tools for whatever jobs you've got. You don't no longer have to have like one setup on your entire laptop for all of your repos that's gonna work. There's no bleed between these environments. So anything installed in one, like say Node 12, isn't going to bleed into another environment that needs Node 16. Now, administrators may or may not be the same people as the developers on your team. If they are, cool, here's a second website for you to log into. Uh, if they're not, this is going to be the place for your administrators to change user access, to create new spaces for users in a collection, or to create different collections for different sub teams inside your organization. This allows you to fully customize the experience that the developers on your team get while still maintaining control over things like network firewalls. If you want to do VPC peering into on-prem or cloud projects, you can do that. Uh, we also let you know the IP addresses that are coming out of these clusters because all of this is fully managed. It's not running inside of your cloud projects. We're not deploying stuff on your hardware. All of this is software as a service exposed through these web portals and also through APIs and CLI if you're interested in that. You can find out more on our documentation site. But one really cool thing for administrators is that you can see what's going on. It's not just set it and forget it. You can take a look, which spaces are getting use, which spaces aren't, which spaces maybe you can just sunset, or maybe there's some that are starting to hit their CPU and RAM limits and you can bump them up to a medium or a large space. They cost 25 or 50 cents more per hour, but you're only paying for consumption. These aren't just running all the time. They're only running whenever developers on your team are actively using them to get work done. Let's talk about these spaces. Uh, they're all completely open source seeing, you know, what goes inside of these images. You can take a look on our GitHub pages, on our GitHub repos. We show you how we build these from Docker files. And if you're familiar with Docker file language and you want to com configure your own tools to go in here, you can go ahead and fork these. That's kind of the reason why they're open source is so that you can customize them for your needs. So if you want to install a unique IDE or a weird quirky CLI that you're using that no one else is using, go ahead, be our, be our guest. You can have a custom image in the portal. And under the hood, we've also got the open source project Selkies powering everything. So this is, we're using it as a streaming service, but more generally, it's just a stateful workload organ orchestration tool for Kubernetes. So it's got the platform, it's got the sidecars, all those sorts of things if you're a Kubernetes head feel free to dig into this. You'll have a field day with it. And you can join us on the Discord if you have any requests or a weird use case that you're interested in doing. We'd love to help you out with it. I think that pretty much covers everything. For administrators, it should be a point and click experience through this web portal. Powers that you're used to having and thought maybe you'd have to give up by moving to the web. No, you still got them. As well as some other powers that you didn't know were possible. And developers, it's really as easy as just switching browser tabs to switch the entire underpinnings of what's installed locally so that you don't need to worry about bleed between these projects. If you're interested in trying it out, we've got a 14 day free trial on the Google Cloud Marketplace, or you can find out more information at itopiaspaces.com. Thanks for joining.